What is up, Bruins fans? Today I have some very exciting news to announce, as of course, Jeremy Swayman is now has 66 million reasons why he will play for the Boston Bruins as today. Jeremy Swayman did sign a 8.25 by 8 year contract. And, you know, when we take a look at it, right, it's been quite a journey over the last few months with both sides having some blows at each other. We'll see if that has any carryover into the season. But of course, what started this entire thing with the Linus Allmark trade earlier in, earlier in the year, right during Game 7 of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs, and that's really when the gloves started to come off, right? You think about it, when you don't have someone playing behind, you know, you get a guy like Corpusalo hasn't quite proven himself yet. And, you know, you have Bussy as well, who's sort of in the mix. We'll talk about him in a little bit. Those would be your two starting goaltenders, assuming Swayman wouldn't sign. Of course, Swayman, now officially signed, will likely end up kicking Bussy out. Who knows in the long run? But of course, big news today with Jeremy Swayman being signed by an 8.25 by $8 million deal. We'll take a look now with the cap, sort of projected lines. We'll start here, of course, with the first line, Zach Lindholm, Pasternak. Not too much to talk about there. Marshawn Coyle Geeky, you have Frederick Potra, Brazo likely, some sort of mix there. You know, you could put Mac Max Jones somewhere in there as well. Frederick slides over to the right. Uh, and then Max Jones, Beecher, Kostelik, and the PTO signing. We'll see if uh, Tyler Johnson ends up getting an extension. I would expect it just from what we've seen from him in, in the preseason action. I think he's a perfect fit to sort of play that 13th forward slide in and out of the lineup when you need him to. You know, as much as he is a center, you can play the wing as well. Might be a good option there. Then to the defense we go. Lindholm, McAvoy, uh, Lowry, Car Carlo, and Zadorov and Peak, And then Wotherspoon on the left side. And then to the goaltenders, Swayman, Corpusalo, Bussy. So this is where it kind of gets a little bit tinkery. You know, you have 411,000 with these lines. We'll see what they do, right? I think, assuming Tyler Johnson gets signed to a league men deal at 775, it's one of those sort of pathways where if you're looking at the Bruins lineup, Bussy is the kind of guy that might have to go. You're not going to carry three goalies for most of the year, at least in my opinion. No, you definitely could, right? It's not saying that you can't carry all three goaltenders, but at the end of the day, you only put one on the ice. You only carry one on the bench. And then the next question becomes, what are you going to do with the third one? So in my eyes, what's likely coming is either a trade for Bussy, because once again, he does have to go back through waivers. I doubt the Bruins really want to try and get into that. You know, there's been a little bit of, of complications with this team so far, especially look to the Allmark deal. They brought in Corpusalo likely kicking Bussy out of that backup role, which it looked like he was. You know, we think back to that signing. Same day, Bussy got signed, and then, of course, Allmark got traded just a few hours later. So, when we take a look at it from sort of that broader perspective, what comes next for the Bruins goaltending situation? Really, who knows, right? Bussy is likely the last one uh, to either go. You know, he might be th that next guy down to Providence if they can pass through waivers. But at the same time, the Bruins might hold on to him, see if they can get a little bit extra value in a trade. You know, you think back a couple of years to Dan Vladar, very similar situation where, you know, the Bruins just didn't have a spot for him. They could have sent him back through waivers, but instead they traded him to the Calgary Flames for a fourth round pick. I think this will be sort of a similar situation. I will be interested to see, you know, what the Bruins decide to do here. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to come down to what value can you get for Bussy? Otherwise, you know, what value can you get for Corpus Allo? You know, Corpus Allo does carry a $3 million contract. So that's also something you have to take into consideration, right? Whether or not you want to try and, if you send Corpus Allo down to, down to Providence, assuming he doesn't get picked off waivers, that's a little bit of a cap relief, especially with the buried cap. So once again, lots to consider for the Boston Bruins, especially wiggling around with the $400,000. You send Bussy down, you get an extra seven seven five, which allows you to bring up another forward. Likely you're looking at a guy like either Merkulov or, La or LaSalle, right? Then the question becomes, how are you going to utilize those two? We've already seen them be sent down to Providence already. You know, what comes next is still the question to be asked, as well as the time of the Johnson. You know, that's another one that's sort of assumed, but at the same time, that can change, right? looking at a 13th forward, 
who knows, it might not be him, especially, in my opinion, it should be Tyler Johnson, just because of, of what we've seen in both preseason action, as well as the experience that he has, especially with a younger-ish core on that back, sort of that bottom six, I'll be interested, very interested at least, to see what they decide to do with Tyler Johnson, but with that, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching, if you'd like to drop a like, if you really like this, you're subscribing, tell all your friends, let me know your thoughts down below on the Jeremy Swift signing, until next time, see you.